It's the singles match between Martin Larson and Bill O'Neill, and the European currently leads after getting four strikes in a row. It's the American's turn on the lane, and O'Neill appears to be struggling. Let's hand back to your commentators. Bill just off his groove slightly there. For the third time in this game, he's only just made the head pin. He is struggling to keep that ball in play in his zone. Again, he's outside his mark. He makes the head pin fortunate to take out the 10 pin. Just leaves a spare standing single pin. Spurs will not win this game for Bill O'Neill. Chance for Martin Larson to, well, keep turning the screw, making it tighter and tighter on Bill. Pressure time very much on the man from Team USA. Another strike here for Larson will maintain that 46 pin lead that he's got just at the moment. It'd be his fifth in a row. Yes. Yeah, Martin showing some of the form that he's been uh, showing bowlers around the, the world in Europe this year. He's had a really good year bowling wise, won a couple of events. Hits the head pin, carries a strike and makes it five in a row. And after that gutter ball in the opening frame, terrific response here from Martin. Absolutely, yeah, very professional. Pressure very much back here on Bill O'Neill. Frame seven. O'Neill strikes. This is a fascinating contest. Well, you mentioned it a moment or two ago. Very self-critical, and even there, a shake of the head as he gets back to his seat. Larson, on the other hand, is uh, in a bit of a bit of a roll here. He's hit a five-pack, going for six. Gets it as well. Got the rhythm now. This is why Martin Larson is the replacement for Oscu Palerma in this year's European Weber Cup squad. It's a great looking card and there was never any doubt that Martin Larson would be a suitable replacement for Oscu Palerma. He's got the credentials, he's played the Weber Cup once before in 2009 when he had a high game of 290. So he knows his way around this lane. But Bill O'Neill has also doubled up, just trying to keep in, uh, keep in the slipstream of Larson. One more time, Martin, you've got six, why not go for seven? You're totally lined up, you're locked and loaded. Why not bury another one? No, the cup run is over, leaves that ten pin standing. But even so, in Europe are on course for another point here. To all intents and purposes, it looked as good as the others. It was just a fraction light on the head pin. The 10 pin did get a tap, but wouldn't go. So disappointment there. Now, let's uh, see you spare this 10 pin, Martin. That's better. <laughs> and he appreciates that as well from the crowd. Sigh of relief there. After the opening frame. So, 258 remains a maximum for Martin Larson in this singles match, the penultimate match of the session. What can Bill do? He steps up to his foundation frame. Well, he's 25 adrift, but he is working on two strikes. A third here will do his cause. The power of good, and oh my word, can you believe that? A wobbling nine pin off of a great looking pocket shot. What's happened here is he's hit the pocket, now just watch this. Perfect looking shot into the 1-3 pocket. So much drive on the ball, it's gone straight through and hasn't deflected onto that 9-pin, which wobbles but hasn't gone over. And that was just simply too much power on the ball as it cut through the pin deck. Makes his spare. But here's Martin again. Yeah, he'd be really pleased to strike out here. 258 is the maximum he can make, and it will do his confidence so much good. Obviously, it's having the adverse effect on Bill O'Neill, who's uh, slightly disgruntled sitting down there. Superb from Martin Larson. Another strike to 
three, four, five, six, seven, and now frame nine for the Swede. Yeah, just showing some form that he's had this year and showing off his skill and ability to those that may not have seen Martin before. Close up. Clean and clinical there from Bill O'Neill. So it's going to be a big disappointment for Team USA and especially Bill O'Neill, who stood up and put his name on the line. Didn't quite come up with the goods. Too little, too late here for the real deal. Well, he's bowled six strikes, unfortunately. He has uh, one big open frame, which has devastated his score. But Martin Larson, seven bagger. Well, this will do Martin the power of good. Experimental ball just to round it off there for Bill O'Neill. Yeah, makes 200. Looks very disappointed. It's not the greatest game. It's quite a high scoring lane condition. And he really hasn't got it going this time. So it's the man from Sweden who will now stand up. It's been a case of from the ridiculous to the sublime over the course of this match for Martin Larson. After that gutter ball in the opening frame, he has been near impeccable since. Yes, another shot uh, rips the rack. Victory is his. And he's pretty joyous about that, as were the crowd. So, bowling for Fran on the last couple of balls in the tenth frame. Well, that doesn't matter, four pins left standing here, but that is Team Europe's first singles victory against USA in seven at the Weber Cup. Not since Oscu Palermo midway through the third session in the 2012 competition has a single European man been punching the air in delight, but Martin Larson is here. He got the better of Bill O'Neill to bring it back to 7-4 now in Weber Cup 14. Europe with the first two points of the session in the Baker and the opening doubles. Back came the USA with Tommy Jones in the singles and then Barnes and Bill O'Neill beating Koivinyemi and Larson in their doubles match. But now it's Martin Larson with Europe's fourth point of Weber Cup 14. The USA do still lead though, 7-4. Tony is lane side. I am indeed with Martin Larson. Martin, well done. That is the first singles point that Team Europe have won in this Weber Cup. How important is that for you? What do you think? Is it important? It's an icebreaker. I mean, it's, uh, we, we got to win single matches to win it. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty important. You like getting this crowd going as well, don't you? Oh, of course. It's, uh, that's why we're here, to win and to get them going. So, yeah, helps. And Europe much better on this Saturday afternoon session. What do you think has changed from Friday night? Three times the crowd, maybe? I don't know. Well, we had, we had no choice. We had to step up and we're on, on the way. Martin, well done. You've won another point for Team Europe, who are now just three behind. Can they win another in the final match of the session? It's coming up after the break.